How's it going guys? Scott McKay here, Thin Air Graphics. Today I'm going to do a little how-to video on how to correct the issues when importing files like my fish scales or any of the downloads that are created outside of the Cricut software. What Cricut does when it imports, if it kind of messes with it, it's the only software out there in the vector space, in the cutting space that actually does this. Every other software has no problem. It must be something to do with their proprietary software. So this is the example we use today. This is the fish scale set we're using. And this is an EPS vector so created in Adobe Illustrator. We have multiple fire file types. And there's no color fills. Everything is, as you look over here, this red line means it is no color fill and black outlines. And that's how this was created. And the only shape that's connected fully is this one. And what Cricut seems to do is, because it doesn't do a uh, transparency that I can find, uh, maybe someone can show me where to choose transparency. It basically fills this color in with a black shape. So if someone imports the file correctly, they don't see the files. They think it's just this big black. Basically, they get it in Cricut like this. So I'm going to show you, A, how to import the correct files and what you have to do to shift them around so you can actually fix it. So let's have a look. So the files you get in my downloads for like the fish scale set come with multiple file types. They come with the original Adobe Illustrator, they come with DXF, an EPS, which is generally open in any vector-based software, any cutting software, a PDF, an SVG, a TIFF file, which is basically an image file, um, and that's it. And, you know, this is another AI. This is just uh, the fish scale itself. It's not the full set. So this is the full set. This is just the main one. Okay, so this is how this file type comes. So let's get over to the Cricut space. So this is their design space, their software. So what I'm going to do, first time doing it, let's see how this goes. New project. Okay, uh, so I need to basically import a new project here. So. And I'm going to upload. Okay, so I'm going to upload. And I am going to go upload image. I'm going to browse my computer, which I put this on my desktop here. The scale set, okay? So typically, from my understanding, is SVGs or DXF is the appropriate file type. So I'm going to do both and see how they come in. When I click the DXF file, I'm going to open it up. And see what it did? It comes with this big black shape and people think nothing's there. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm not going to replace image. And I'm going to upload it. Hit space. I'm going to also do the SVG and see if that comes in any different. Here's the SVG. Okay, so the SVG comes in, in this case, no problem. So let's look at both. I'm going to upload that. Okay, so... The DXF does this, the SVG should be fine. So let's start there. I'm going to add to canvas the SVG. Let's see what it does. It does the same thing. So it, even though it looks fine in the picture, it fills it all in, which is really a problem. Because uh, everyone thinks there's no cut files there, who only has a cricket. Any other software doesn't do this. So what you have to do is you have to select it all. So let's see here. Select all, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup it all. Okay, I'm going to ungroup it. The other thing I'm going to do is we're going to select it all. I'm going to go back to file. I mean edit, select all, and I'm going to basically go from black to white. Okay. Just so you can see what it's doing. It made this shape white now. So now watch what happens. I'm going to select this shape. Just click it once. I'm going to right click. I'm going to send it to back. Ba -ba. There's all your cuts. The reason why you can't see them is this shape, this, this initial shape here, this outer one, is put on top of everything. So if you were to actually delete this one, it's fine. Nothing there. But you won't get a nice clean cut border. So that's what it's doing, and we could do it again over here. So we should be able to select all. Oh, 
they're already ungrouped. So I can select that. Watch, if I just delete that one, there's all your cuts. Or you can do it, change it, change it to gray, it doesn't matter. And then reselect it, send it back. There's all your cut lines. This is the issue with Cricut. Um, so this was the SVG. Let's see if the other one does the same thing. That was the SVG, I just did that too. Let's do it to this, add to canvas, and then watch. It's probably gonna do the same thing. See, it blacks it all out, okay? Um, this is not how the file was created. This is what Cricut does with their software, okay? Um, so, because when I created the files, if we go back in Illustrator, this is the file creation. So what Cricut does, it fills in its own color. And you may experience this with lots of stuff you download for the internet that's outside of the Cricut space. And this is how you correct it. Again, here, right click, send it back, done. This one here, i really not a fan of their interface. Sorry for anyone who likes it. Um, I just don't, they lock everything out. Um, yeah, it just becomes a problem. So I'm gonna change this one here. Yeah, you can see all the colors. You don't even really have to send them to back. If you just right click, if you just click on it and change the color, oh yeah, yeah you still gotta send it to back. And send it to back, there's all your files. That's how you fix anything you've downloaded from the internet that wasn't created in Cricut. I've tried create recreating these in Cricut software and then saving them out to the package, the design package, so it imports properly, but they don't allow you to do that either. Uh, I can only export images. It's a problem with the Cricut software, in my opinion. Um, but this is the workaround. That's how you fix it with any of my downloads. So any of the downloads you do from Airbrush Down Dirty Tricks will work this way. Just remember, you got to import either the DXF file or the SVG into your workspace. And then you're going to follow those steps by um, selecting it all, ungrouping it, and then changing the color of that foreground square and then sending it to back. And then you're ready to go. Then you can do your cutting and everything from there. So you go to make it, do your thing. Hope this helps. And uh, stay tuned for more Down Tricks, How-Tos, and Vector Downloads. Have a good day.